friends. So right now I am in Seattle, which is the home of the first Starbucks, uh, the Space Needle. Park right here. It's a cute little area. Look at that. The view behind me is insane. Oh my gosh. I almost had forgotten how beautiful this was. Um, but yeah, so Frasier. This is the inspiration for the TV show Frasier. Like, you know, like the logo and like, I guess the opening credits too. And then the opening scene for the movie 10 Things I Hate About You was shot right here in Cary Park. So beautiful. So in the opening credits of 10 Things I Hate About You, the camera kind of pans out this way and it keeps going. And then I'll Build of, of girls singing. Um, okay. God, what's the name of that song? Uh, anyways, but they're singing, and I want to say they stop right about, I don't know, maybe like around here somewhere. The car stops, but you see these steps in the background. So I don't know if the car stops here, but then all of a sudden, Cat um, drives in her car and stops right next to them playing Bad Reputation. And they look at each other weird or whatever, and then they drive off. That's right there. You guys remember it though? Well. They were sitting in the steps. And by the way, the character's name was Cat and Bianca. So Cat and Bianca lived here with their dad. I think the dad's name was Walter in the movie. Um, I don't want to disturb too much, but I will go around the other side so you can see it. And by the way, look at how beautiful it is here. Like there's water surrounding this whole area. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's my rental. <laughs> houses they're so pretty so. the house was actually built in 1907 and it's a five bedroom house and as you can see it was just beautiful all right so now we're going off to the next location I believe is the high school which should be really close to here so all right so I've made it oh wow oh wow look at this guys this is the stadium right up here so you guys remember a couple scenes here. This is where they did the, the scene with, uh, with Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles when he's singing to her. And then also I want to say that that car scene where he drops, or no, 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 the motorcycle scene was also filmed here too. And there is the high school. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm not really uh, sure how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to see if I can walk around. So cool. Okay, so um, it was kind of open, so I'm just gonna walk down. This is so freaking cool. I can't believe I'm here right now. God, this is so awesome. Wow. So I can hear it now. I can hear him singing to her. Um, and I'm almost positive that that scene with the motorcycle, remember his friend, um, Cameron's friend? I think that motorcycle scene was filmed right here. I'm almost positive. here 
here and I'm actually standing on like the bleachers not really bleachers oh shoot that is a really big step oh my god this is so cool guys so you do remember that scene right oh this is beautiful what a beautiful high school I was talking to a really nice guy and he was saying that I was showing him the video clip of that scene and he said that there, it looks like in parts it was filmed in two different locations but for the most part this is it um, well obviously because um, if you look at the scene there's a lot of background that it's not here like uh, I would have to get down below down there so I could show you this side over here um, but there is a couple things that are not the same I'll try to get down there a little bit it just looks a little scary but um, Anyways, it's still cool to be here. And he said that this has been closed for a while too because of flooding. So this is the first time that it's been open. So I got really lucky. So yeah. the background here is what I was trying to tell you guys. Like the background here, if he danced on this side here, this background looks entirely different. But you do see the school in a few shots. But um, whatever. I just wanted to get closer to Look at the track, guys. I'm gonna try to make it to uh You're this. just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Man, I'm pretty baby. And if it's fine alright, I need you, baby, to love my lonely nights and let me love you. Oh out of breath. Alright. Check it out. Oh, so much. A long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm See, alive See, it looks entirely different You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you I love you, baby And if it's quite alright I came from the stadium is to the right there. Here's the gymnasium. Oh man. She's totally pure. Great. You're missing what's what's there. Cameron, no. What's there is a snotty little princess wearing a strategically planned sundress to make guys like us realize that we can never touch her. And guys like uh Joey. Okay, I'm underneath the Fremont uh, bridge because guess what's over here? Um, in this, in the scene, in the movie, um, it's when uh, Bianca and Cameron are talking about Kat. You know, they, she wants to go to the party, but she doesn't know if she's going to be able to go because of her sister. I really, really, really want to go, but you know I can't. Not unless my sister does. Yeah, I know. I'm working on that, but so far, she's, you know, she's not going for my guy. Um, she's not a... Katie Lang fan. So cool. I'm gonna have to go climb that thing. Because you don't come all the way over here and not climb the Fremont Troll. Okay? So for my last location for 10 Things I Hate About You, I just arrived in Gas Works Park. Gas Works Park. Yeah, that's right. And this place was the paintball scene. Remember the paintball scene where after they go on the boats, then the next, it's like when they were on a date, but they're on the boat. So this place here, which is right behind me, um, I'll show you guys in a second, but, um, 
and they paintball, which is not really an actual paintball park. It was just for the movie. I know, boring. But um, I finally found the spot. So I'm gonna try to pinpoint exactly that one scene where she, um, they stop after like they've been chasing each other. She stops, they both stop, and she like throws um, one of the balloons on his head. <laughs> background so that definitely they definitely weren't in there because that's all fenced in I mean I don't know if it was fenced in before but that scene was I, they were probably let me move back a little bit they're probably standing like right here because you can see this in the background So they were standing right, right about there. I'm pretty positive that the lake that they were on while they were filming that shot when they're on the boat together paddling was here. Because it would make sense because right after that scene was the paintball scene which took place behind me. So it makes sense. Are you up for it? Up for what? Seattle right now. I was here two weeks ago doing the filming locations for 10 Things I Hate About You and I didn't get to finish. Right now I just passed by Paramount Theater and for the looks of it, it looks like it's a theater for um, Broadway shows and I don't think I'll be able to get in there plus parking around here sucks. So um, I got footage of the outside of the theater. I'll, I'm going to have to provide some pictures of what um, I'm talking about but I'm going to have to skip that one. Um, so uh, next I'm going to try to find the bookstore, um, which is no longer a bookstore, and the music store, which is no longer a music store. Sucks. All right. So right, right there where it says Paramount Theater, inside of there is where they filmed the lobby of the prom night. So when you see her running down the stairs and they're arguing this is the theater where they filmed inside so if I can find parking I will try to get there. Maybe one day I'll be able to go back to Paramount Theater and get this little shot right here. get it but it's right there oh well on to the next location then ah totally I'm still like right back there is where the century ballroom is I'm gonna have to provide a picture of the inside so you could see um, which scene I'm speaking of so sorry I tried that was used in that scene where Patrick, uh, Cameron, and Michael come to to talk about Kat. Um, it was first called the Tavern, oh boy, now I forgot the name, something Tavern. I'm at a stop, like, you know, a stop sign right now, so hopefully nobody comes. But um, it was first a, it was a bar for a long time, and then it turned into a restaurant with that name. Um, but now it's permanently closed. So, um, if I can find somewhere to park really quick, I will, so I can peek through the window. But yeah, that's the bar that was used. Buffalo Tavern, saw that? Nice park. Yeah, it says Buffalo right there. I found parking, but I gotta make it quick, because, uh, 
it's in a little neighborhood, but um, the bar is right there in the corner. Um, hopefully there's nobody around and I could just quickly uh, peek through the window. So this is the side of the building right here. how hard it is to find parking in Seattle, especially downtown Seattle. But anyways, this is it. Okay, so this is the area where, um, where uh, Kat backs up into Joey's car. It would have been, let me see, probably would have been parked maybe right there where that car is. Because if you look in the movie, you can see these, these light, these light poles right here. So I'm pretty sure, well, I know this is the, the actual place. So his car would have probably been parked right around there when she backs into him. But the music store is 1117. That's 1128. So, whew, that was tripped um let's see and it used to be called ted brown music which i hear that it's um he reopened his store somewhere else but the music store in the movie was called gill's music um i don't see one 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 seven let's see this is one one two four so unless it's one oh there it is so that would have been it right there. Oh, so I'm actually, wait, so I'm actually standing in the wrong that spot. That was an exciting, that was an exciting lunch. All right, so let me uh, back on up. So now this is a salon. This was, this was actually the music store back then. Oh, so then the music store is on this side then. It would have happened this way, but. I don't think so, only because, well, actually, yes, because you can still see the lights on this side. So right where that car is coming out, that's where she was backing up and hits Joey's car. So yeah, I think I am right. It is this side, rather than the other side that I was in. So yeah, so right where that car just went in. So yep, this is the spot right here. She backs up into his car, she's like, what? Asshole day, and she goes, Whoops! So, yep, your spot depends on the topic. Uh, there's my friends don't really with me and talk about frenzy. You're not afraid She's of me. Like, what is it, asshole day? So, <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> so, I came back to Stadium High School. I'm gonna try to get a tour of inside the school. Right now I am inside of the parking garage. This used to be an open parking. So in the movie it looks entirely different because um, all those scenes that were taking place in the parking lot um, with the kids, like Joey gives the um, Bianca and her friend, I can't think of her name, a ride on, the, on his um, uh, convertible. That was here, but now it's a closed um, parking garage. Um, uh, it's snowing right now, which is unheard of supposedly in Seattle. I was like, really? But anyways, um, if it clears up a little bit, I'll try to get a good angle of uh, the parking garage so you can see what that looks like. All right, so there's the school and there's the parking garage. That just used to be an open parking lot before. Oh gosh, the snow is so freaking cold. All right, I'm gonna try to get into the school. Um, I was here two weeks ago, and I was able to get down, down in the bowl right here. 
which I see that there's people down there practicing something so maybe after I do the tour I can go down there but um, yeah so that scene you know most of the scenes took place I would say like right about over here with the cars and stuff um, when Patrick gives Cat the guitar they were probably right around here because you can see the school in the background <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of chairs and tables were set up here. I believe there was a little coffee machine right there. And right over here, there's a scene. The cat goes all the way up to there takes off this sign that says prom and then here in the courtyard was where all the with that introductory beginning tour of all the cliques and clubs was given to Cameron by Michael but, all right. Go on but this is where that sign would have been I'm in the school. Check me out. Ah. Anyway, so this is one of the hallways when you walk in. And I want to I want to say this hallway was used a lot. Um, she said that there's four floors, um, and I could just walk the whole thing. So I'm so excited right now. All right. Oh my God, this is so cool. All right, so um, just walking right now. Counselor's office. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the movie, the lockers were gray or like a tan color, not blue. So in the beginning of the movie, where um, Cameron and Michael are talking and he's introducing him, and he's like, Hey, I'm here to give you a tour of the school. I believe they were standing here because short after they walk outside to the front of the school and that would have been right through those doors right there. We've got your basic beautiful people. Now listen, unless they talk to you first, don't bother. Boy, is that your rule or theirs? Watch. Hey there. Eat me. You see that? To the left, we have the call. So I think now I'm on the second floor. Oh, look at that. I don't know if this was used at all. Um, one thing that people always ask if um, in the last scene of the movie when Letters to Cleo are singing um, I Want You to Want Me was that actually filmed in the rooftop and the answer is yes it was classroom and this is chemistry so this could have also been used in the movie 
hard to tell, huh? And that's 323. Looks like I'm gonna have to go downstairs now. Oh, look at that. But the angle was from the camera was facing down up, so you can see the paper's going down. But let me take a picture. <laughs> did use the library, a couple of the classrooms, the opening hallway. Hmm. Can I go in there? Am I allowed? Oh, no, it's closed. Duh. Anyways. Can I even see in there? Alright, so I came back out so I can um, find those stairs because I know I'm pretty sure um, in the front of the school that these there's I guess there's one on each side but there's like there's that scene and then there's that other scene when Cameron okay so here it is so yeah so there's that scene whether it's this side or the other side I don't really know for sure but supposedly when they turn to the right or the left there was like an opening which I don't know if they were just inside the school, but, um, but yeah, you see them coming up like stairs this way, or not coming down the stairs. Um, it could be that side or it could be the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, I have gathered a group of guys, couldn't be more perfect, Padua's finest. Yeah, but you see, there's a difference between like and love. I like my Skechers, but I love my Prada backpack. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do it. Love my Skechers? That's because you don't have a Prada backpack. Oh. That scene, actually, um, it's kind of hard to tell which direction she was coming from. Um, gosh, who knows? When somebody does this location better than I can, I'm gonna give him big props because you really have to study and I don't really have time for that. I gotta get back to work. All right, so I'm heading out of Stadium High School. I wanna thank the faculty, uh, the lady in the front office. Um, I wish I would've gotten her name, Lorraine. I'm gonna find out your name. Thank you because you were so nice and so kind. Thank you for letting me do a self tour of this awesome high school. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next time! Oh,